GSE SSH 12.D analyze Georgia's role in the national and global economy of the 21st century with regard to tourism, the Savannah port expansion, and the film industry. So let's jump straight into this one. This is our last element for our history standards, and it's going to talk about right now tourism. There's many places you can go in Georgia to find many different things that you want to do. I am totally not going to go over any of those things except show you some things in some pictures because the University of Georgia, yeah, there's not really much here. You can see Macon, all the peaches and all the fish and the dog. So this is just a picture. There's the state flowers, the cherry. So there's a lot of things you can do in Georgia. Specifically, let's look at some locations. We have Atlanta, the big downtown city, Savannah, the first planned city, the Blue Ridge region, Augusta, Tybee Island uh, for vacation, Saltwater Creek State Park is great for picnicking, boats, uh, wooden trails, Jekyll Island, we took some fifth graders there when I worked at another school for a couple of days, our first trip to see the ocean, Columbus, um, Athens, UGA, that's where UGA and REM was uh, started off their musical career. Dahlonega, Georgia, where the gold rush started. St. Simons, one of the barrier islands as well. Macon, they always have cheap gas there for some reason. Albany right now is going through a terrible pandemic with the COVID-19 virus, so don't go there now. But the parks, aquariums, art, and art museums are nothing to sneeze about. Helen, oh my goodness, look at the architecture there. Oktoberfest, haunted houses, shopping, Elige, Lake Lanier, Brunswick, Pine Mountain, and so on. There's so many different places you can go to for Georgia when it comes to tourism. So much so that here's the top 12 places that you can go or at least the top 12 official Georgia State Visitor Information Centers. Georgia's 12 official State Visitor Information Centers provide a welcome for more than 13 million guests each year. So that's telling us that we have counted just around 13 million people each year. Not everybody stops at the information centers. Okay, so everyone that's just counting the people who stop in. We have millions and millions of people more that just come in through the airport or just drive right by the information centers. So many millions of people come into our beautiful state. We know at minimum 13 million, okay? So we're guessing based on travel and data that we have, 60 plus million visit the state. And in 2009, visitors took more than 114 million trips to and within Georgia. So basically people are coming to Georgia for business and vacation. It's a great place to be. It has many things to see. So billions of people are coming in. Millions of people are coming in. Billions of dollars are coming in as well. So this assists the local economies. So if you're coming in to have lunch, that helps pay for the person who's working and serving you the food, um, especially if you're paying um, a big tip. So tip your wage staff all the time, 20% or more if you can. Tourism is one of the most significant revenue generators for the state, second to only agriculture. So I want you to think about that. We think of Georgia back in the day as, oh, this was an agriculture state, and it is, and it kind of still is. But basically, what brings in the most money to Georgia? Tourism. Second, agriculture. That's crazy. So people are coming here and spending money. All right, $19.4 billion uh, were spent and contributed to get more than 31 billion back into the state economy. More than 230,000 jobs um, were given to residents were related to tourism, just, just in tourism in 2009. Now I know it's 2020 now, but in 2009, so take it for what it is. Let's talk about the Savannah port expansion. So why do we even care about a port in Savannah expanding? This is why, okay? The Savannah Port expansion is deepening the harbor so that we can have those larger boats that carry the shipping containers come through the port of Savannah. It handles more than 3 million and 20 foot uh, 
equivalent container units per year for more than 21,000 US businesses. So basically, if you do business and you have a shipping container, likelihood if it's coming on the East Coast, it's coming through the Savannah port. So if we make the Savannah port wider and if we make the port deeper, that means we can have larger and bigger boats come through the Savannah port. Okay. So the economic impact of Georgia's port is guesstimated around $67 billion. That's impressive. Also, the port itself gives 352,000, and we're rounding here, jobs to people that have a job at the port. So basically, if you work at the port, you are one of 352,000 people. And that's at 18.5 billion total each year made by people working at the ports. And that works out to around 50,000, 45, 50,000 dollars a year per person on average. So the construction began on the Savannah Harbor um, to deepen it and widen it. I don't want to get into specifics because that's basically what it's all about is to making it more accessible for bigger and heavier boats with more cargo to be able to come through quicker and easier without having to go around into the Pan Panama Canal. Okay, and I think you learned about that in elementary school. It was supposed to be completed in 2019. It was. Georgia approved $266 million in bonds to cover the state's project or projected share of the construction. So basically, the state is covering it for the most part. And it's going to benefit not just the companies moving through the goods through Savannah, but all of the people in Savannah as well. All right, let's just go through. This is what it's going to look like. 2.5 football fields wide, or I'm sorry, long. They're going to make it about a year for the boats. So jumping now into the film industry. Georgia, it, you wouldn't think this. Georgia is the number one filming location in the world. Not Hollywood, not California, not Hawaii, not Italy. Georgia is now the number one filming location in the world, according to Film LA. And the industry has a giant impact on the state's economy because of a couple different reasons. Here's one of the major ones. Governor Deal at the time announced film and television productions that they generated $9.5 billion impact in 2017. Okay, so that included a $2.7 billion spent to get people to come to Georgia and to make their films here. So they made a lot of money in 2017. But from 2007, from $67 million, we get to almost $3 billion in 2017. Why is that? Tax incentives for film productions. So Governor Deal said, hey, we're going to make it easier and cheaper for the film companies to come to Georgia to make their films here, because why not? And if you do, we will charge you less money to make your films here. Now, if we had one film a year, and Hollywood made one film a year, Hollywood would make more money because they charge more to make the films there. But we charge less, so that means we need to have more businesses come in or more film industries come in, and the more film industries that come in, TV, movie, everything like that, uh, will make more money. So the more businesses that come into Georgia, the more money comes into Georgia. And they're thinking about the same thing with the film industry. Okay. So 2000, 2017, 320 film and television productions were shot in the state. So just in one year, over 300 movies and TV shows were produced in the state. Marvel's movies, Netflix's Stranger Things, The Walking Dead, all of these shows and movies add up to billions of dollars to throw into the Georgia economy every single year. Some more films, The Vampire Diaries, 42, The Last Song, Hunger Games, Captain Marvel, not Captain Marvel, Captain America, and Civil War, Forrest Gump. You can read the words here. So a lot of different movies are coming into Georgia to make their monies here. So how does the film industry help the local, state, and national, and international economy? Well, local, it pays for people to do their job. 
So if more people are coming into wherever they're making the film, that area gets an increase of money because now the film people have to buy lunch and dinner too. They have to stay at a hotel as well. So wherever the film is being produced, that area of the state is making more money. The state is making more money because they're charging a tax for the film company to be able to film inside the state. Nationally and internationally, more people are now seeing, wow, The Walking Dead, wow, um, Captain America, um, all these different films and TV shows are filmed in Atlanta. I want to go see where it was filmed. Now we have tourism, people coming into the state and spending even more money to see the films that gave the state even more money as well. So everything about this has to do with money. Okay. So this whole standard is about what? dollar, dollar bills, y'all. Boys and girls, I'm tired. It's been a long history story. We are done. We have finished all of the history elements, all of the history standards. This is GSE SS8H12.D. Game, set, match. Thanks for watching. The next section of these videos is going to be talking about the government standards, the CG1. We're going to start with the local government of Georgia. And with that, my friends, my colleagues, my students, peace out. I'm just tired. I got to I got to go to bed. I'm